If you think you've heard it all on this story, you have not. We've uncovered several new and shocking developments in the murders of two young women dumped in suitcases. We have live team coverage tonight. Colleen Henry investigates the dark past of the former police officer behind bars tonight. We begin with Christina Palladino. Christina quiet tonight, but when they raided his place, it looked like a scene from CSI. Kathy, absolutely. This is the West Ellis apartment building where officers stormed in earlier today, taking out all sorts of evidence big bags, small bags, and even appliances. The lower unit there is where Stephen Zelich lived. And we've just learned tonight that at least one of the women was murdered across state lines. Detectives from Walworth County and other departments spent all day Wednesday hauling out pieces of evidence, including this refrigerator from the West Dallas apartment of Stephen Zelich. The 52 year old former West Dallas cop was taken into custody in the murders of a missing Minnesota woman and another unidentified woman shown in this artist's sketch. The victims were discovered in suitcases left on a rural road in the town of Geneva at the beginning of June. It is scary um, because, I mean, I, I mean, unfortunately, this. Time of age, everything's kind of hit or miss. You never know who's right next door to you. Rochester, Minnesota police sent out a release saying, quote, the police department continues to investigate Laura's death as a homicide occurring in the city of Rochester. This video shows investigators searching a hotel there two weeks ago looking for clues. Police say Simonson was last seen alive back in November. She was reported missing by her mother. The 37-year-old woman is originally from the Twin Cities and is the mother of seven children. Back at Zellage's apartment, neighbors tell 12 News he lived there for a few years. He's just quiet. He's in and out. So, yeah, very, very unreal. They notice him leaving his apartment around 8 this morning, looking like he was going to work. Less than an hour later, cops moved into the building. They came out with a rushed, rushed appearance to the, the apartment complex, and there was approximately seven policemen. Some of them, I don't know if they were SWAT or what, but I'm not sure. Did they have guns drawn? Yeah, no, not drawn. Just, just, just the uh, shield that they pulled up, okay. and the ram for the door. Zelich has not been charged. He's currently in custody down in Walworth County. It's not clear if the other woman is from Minnesota, but there is a press conference planned for tomorrow morning in Rochester where more information will be released. We are live in West Dallas tonight. Christina Palladino, WISN 12 News. Thanks, Christina. And 12 News investigative reporter Colleen Henry continues our live team coverage tonight from the West Dallas Police Department. Colleen, you've been digging into Zelich's past and found he uh, left under suspicion. Yeah, you know, Kat, 12 News has learned that Stephen Zelich was given the opportunity to resign as a police officer here from the West Dallas Police Department after allegations of off duty misconduct. Police sources tell 12 News Zelich resigned in 2001 after a prostitute was found naked, handcuffed, and running away from Zelich's apartment near 112th and National. The sources tell 12 News Zelich appeared to have had prior contacts with the prostitute, that the encounter started as consensual, and police at the time did not believe Zelich intended to harm her. Now, no criminal charges were filed. Zelich was allowed to resign. Now, Zelich's name also appears on a website called Second City Classified. In a posting that claims to be by friends and family of Laura Simonson, they ask for help in finding Simonson, who they believe Zelich was keeping as a slave. The classified also says Zelich advertised on an alternative dating site looking for a permanent relationship of absolute ownership and slavery and that the website was recently shut down. Now, the West Dallas Police Department declined to talk on camera, saying it was referring any and all questions to the lead agencies in this investigation, that being Walworth County Sheriff's Department and the Town of Geneva Police Department. In West Dallas, Colleen Henry, WISN 12 News. Thank you, Colleen. And tomorrow morning, as Christina mentioned, police in Minnesota will hold a news conference on the murder of Laura Simonson. Police say she was killed there. It is unclear how she ended up in a suit suitcase in the town of Geneva in Wisconsin. Investigators are still trying to identify the other woman killed and left in a suitcase. She's between the ages of 15 and 35 with a heart tattoo on her lower left abdomen. 52-year-old Stephen Zelich, a former West Dallas police officer, is under arrest. He has not yet been charged.